Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Now, I'm going to start us off by saying it would be greatly appreciated if you guys could hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. My goal for this channel at the moment, it is only 50 subscribers. Thank you all very much and let's get into the video. A young caring woman coming into the best years of her life goes missing in the early hours of a beautiful morning, all while running errands in her small town. What happened? Let's get into the facts of it. This story takes us to Wilkesboro, North Carolina with a population of around 3,413, give or take a little. The town was described as a nice safe place to live and is known for beautiful mountain ridges with scenic views. Angela Hamby was a bright and busy 20 year old young lady. Her friends and family called her Angie. She worked data processing at the Northwestern Bank and was enrolled at Wilkes Community College. The morning of the 29th of October 1982, Angela, she'd taken the day off with the attention of going shopping with her mom. Angela left at around 9.30 a.m. She left first that morning because she had a few errands to run before her and her mom were to leave to go shopping. She needed to make a car payment and her mom needed a cash deposit dropped off at the NCNB bank. Since Angela could do both of these things at the time, her mom waited at home for her to come back. After she left the bank, Angela was supposed to stop by her sister's house on the same road as the bank. Just a brief stop to drop off a message to her sister. By noon, when Angela hadn't returned, her mother called the bank. The bank let her know that Angela had never been there, so she then contacted Angela's sister, who had also not seen Angela yet. The fact when Angela had left to run those errands that morning, it would be the last time anyone had seen her. She was last seen at 11.30 a.m. on October the 22nd, 1982. She was last seen by three witnesses who we will come back to. At around 1 a.m. in the morning of the 30th, which was the next day after Angela had went missing, Angela's silver 1980 Mazda RXT was found unlocked and abandoned, tucked up behind Glen Taste Freeze, which is a diner that is a two minute drive from the bank. The car was behind the building and parked very close to the dumpsters. Angela's pocketbook and driver's license were inside the vehicle. The car had a full tank of gas, but Angela, her keys and the money that she had when she left for the bank were not on the scene. One of the initial witnesses was a police officer who stated that around 11.30 a.m. Angela was seen driving her car near the location that it was found. A woman that worked at the Taste Frizz as a cook, she also gave a description of seeing Angela in the car. And she was not alone. The witness stated she was with a man with blonde hair that was rough looking. The witness states they seemed to be talking to each other. As the day began to grow with no answers, Angela's family and loved ones stated they said they don't believe she would have willingly walked away. Another eyewitness report also stated on the day Angela vanished, a woman claimed to see her in a clothing store acting extremely nervous like she was trying to hide and not be seen. But like most things, this tip didn't turn out and it is undetermined if it was actually Angela that she saw. Then the family received a call stating that Angela was in a house in Cherryville and gave an address which was an hour away from Wilkesboro. The family actually travelled there and the address was fake. Now you see this a lot with missing cases, you see that people taking advantage of the victim's family. You would need to be the lowest of the low to do anything like this. Over time authorities had stated that there were two possible suspects that they investigated but it turned out that they were both incarcerated at the time of Angela's disappearance. So this also never resulted in any findings unfortunately. Now here we are 40 years down the road and no answers have come from for Angela's mom and sister or any of Angela's friends. So what do you think happened to Angela? Was she abducted by the blonde man she was seen with in the car? It could be reasonable to believe that the man mentioned forcibly found his way into her car in hopes of robbing her money. Yet there's strong evidence that that didn't happen. I would add that her car could have been of interest of a carjacker too. Yet it became abandoned leading to another unsupported point. Could be something as simple as Angela she picked up someone 
on the side of the road disguising themselves as a hitchhiker in need. There was also another report that Angela was with a motorcycle gang and the leader of the gang had Angela with him. Locals have stated uh, there was a lot of awareness back then in the area. Motorcycle gangs were assuredly moving drugs through the local counties. The Knob area my motors goes into, into this speculation. This is a mine not too far from Wilkesboro. It was it was used as a burial ground for the biker gangs. Two bodies were dug up in 1982, with their stating to be 21 bodies still buried down there. The strange thing about this case is that the car was either close to or in the exact same spot that the witness saw it last. This was midday, so it's not like it was just after close and the car was dumped later. It likely would have been spot again that makes me think that she she must have left the car there and she had gone on foot with whoever the blonde guy was or maybe he had a car nearby if they searched nearby for her and she wasn't found i think there must have been a second vehicle and it's unlikely for her to be found anywhere near this town that is terribly sad and it seems like the kind of case we would easily solve today thanks to this to the cctv cameras and cell phone data which would make it which makes it even more sadder while researching this case i came in contact with this article which is very interesting to say the least back in 2015 i was contacted by a woman who told me that she thought her ex-husband was involved in the 1982 disappearance of angie, angie hamby of wilkesboro north carolina she said that when they had separated he left a lot of items behind in their house and that she thought suspicious she sent me the items in the mail as i looked through the items i found this 35 millimeter side of an unknown female bound with share and gagged she said that she recognized the background as being his apartment back in the 1970s the woman in the photo obviously is not angie and there are no missing women who resemble this woman but this photo was obviously either evidence of a crime against an unknown victim or something created with her cooperation for his own amusement. I just hope for our loved ones that the answers someday come and you will be 59 years old today. Thank you all again for watching the video. Truly appreciate it. Have a great day and I will see you next time.